Hey, hey everyone, here with you again for another little mini masterclass. I'll just wait for a few more people to gather before we start the show. And I've got something to show you as well. So we'll go into that really, really shortly. So let's just cultivate a little bit of energy. Hey, Kath, Kath Wharton, famous Kath Wharton's just joined as well. And yes, everything is okay in Bali. If you did read about or uh, hear about the um, earthquake overnight, yeah, it certainly shook my bed, my room, my windows a lot, and uh, it woke everyone up. So uh, I guess there's um, there's benefit to being woken and being aware. So uh, Vicky's joined us. Great to see you as well, Vicky. So today's topic, as promised in yesterday's mini masterclass, my role here in Ubud is to go to supernova levels of uh, of content, and I want to um, share that with you. Have you the benefic be the beneficiaries of that new content uh, in the lead up to my next Zero Limits Masterclass starting very very soon? So here's what I'd like to share with you today, as per the title above: shifting into a new state of being and learning how to rewire the brain back into the fifth dimensional plus supercomputer it was designed to be. So it's a big mouthful there, but our, our, our brain is such a marvelous computer. And for most people, they're still hardwired to the past. And I mentioned that yesterday, hardwired to the past. So neurochemically, neurobiologically, uh, um, we are hardwired to the past, which means we are living in a state of freeze. We're in a frozen state of creation i.e. we tend to trap our energy, trap our, um, our emotions and cycle them in the lower energy centers, which keeps us in survival. And when we stay in survival, we have a very, very small bandwidth, um, very low energy in which to create a new reality with new life experiences to attract new opportunities into our life or to build that beautiful bridge from one side of the bank where we are to the other side where we know is our, uh, that we know is our destiny. So the 5D plus uh, uh, dimensional supercomputer is your brain. And if you can get over yourself for long enough and practice re immersing yourself into a new future reality in the present moment, you will create new synaptic junctions, new neural pathways. And by learning something new, research suggests, and it's proving that every time you learn something new, you actually grow and wire new synaptic pathways upwards of 1200, 1400 at a time. As you keep immersing yourself in a new paradigm, in a new reality, because that's where you are holding the vibration. When you keep doing that, you are pruning away old neurological pathways. Essentially, you are pruning away the past. Now, did you need to go into the past and dig up, you know, all the bones, all the skeletons, um, you know, in, in the graveyard at midnight in, in the dark moon? No, you didn't need to do that at all. You wanted to move forward. Hey, Perina, great to see you. And Steph's just joined as well. Uh, Janet, great to see you as well. Okay, so, so did you need to go into the past to do that? No, you didn't. You made a decision. You made a decision that says, I know there is a greater, a higher reality for me. And in making that decision, you step forward into a new level of possibility. So what does that mean? Well, let me show you this. Okay, this is something that the Zero Limits Mastermind members get uh, regularly, twice a week. And hopefully you can see that. You can see on one side, it's a little bit fuzzy, and I apologize for that, but I didn't want to write it out. You'll see one side in red is third dimension. That's survival. And when you're in survival, you are in matter. And I'll run through the list with you. You are as matter. You are trying to influence your life as matter. You are using Newtonian physics the Newtonian model of creation to move your mind, to move your body, to move your reality, matter versus matter. It's very dense. You probably worked that out by now, okay? As in that third dimensional reality, okay, or what some may call as the dough or that heavier state, you are also a particle. So as a particle, you are already collapsed in the quantum field. So when you are in the state of unknown, and we'll address that in a moment, that you are in the superposition. All things are possible. 
Until something is observed, it remains a wave. And we'll get to that in a minute too. As soon as you observe something, you bring it into your awareness, that wave is collapsed into a particle and it becomes denser. It becomes matter ultimately. So when you're operating from old neural programming, old neural pathways, the same habitual thinking, your temperament has led to a personality which equals your personal reality, as I mentioned in the last mini class yesterday. You are operating from a denser state. So you are matter, you are particle. And for the apprentice co-creators or manifestors out there, I'll be doing another segment on this specifically, you operate from the known, which means you seldom take action, seldom take action unless you know the outcome, unless you feel confident that it's going to work for you or it's going to eventuate, it's going to result in a desired outcome which ultimately, when you operate from the known, you are using the same neural pathways, the same synaptic junctions, the same biochemical signatures in the body to create a predictable future, it will lead to disappointment, which then leads to yet another downward spiral. Is this hitting, hitting the mark for you guys so far? Hey, Annie, great to see you as well. Great to see you. So also in the known, we are predictable, as I said. We live with predictability. We like to have everything under control. We like to know exactly what's happening, exactly uh, what's going to occur all the time. Because we secretly fear that if I let myself out of this self-imposed cage or asylum <laughs> institution, uh, you're not going to be able to cope with the rising tide, the emotions or the thoughts that go with that because you've kept yourself safe. Make sense? So also in that third dimensional reality, the brain is hardwired to survival. And as I said earlier in this little masterclass, we tend to trap our energy in our lower energy centers. The three lower energy centers, we seldom move the energy up into our fourth gateway, as I referred to it, into our heart, in our, into our creational space. And so what we end up doing is we are just pulling from the field the whole time. We just want, want, want. Make sense? like a little kid wanting a toy or the next lolly or the next treat, the next level of addiction, okay? So inside of that, we are operating from an old state of being, an old paradigm. The brain, as you age and you start to move into your uh, later years, is not stimulated in new ways. Therefore, new pathways are not being created. Therefore, regenesis is not occurring in the brain. There's the same old modeling that is occurring in the brain, which means that you are the same personality, i.e. the same personal reality. Make sense? I am on a rant. Absolutely. Tara Darlington and Janet. And great to see you. Alicia, great to see you guys. So also, as mentioned on this, if you can see it ooh, ooh, the wrong way, you can see that you are in a static state. You're frozen because you are hardwired to the past. Nothing is changing. And as I said yesterday, you are in a very small bandwidth of operation. No matter how much you try to raise the ceiling on your finances or your income or, the, the, um, or your relationships or anything else, you will reach a ceiling. You tend to be static and you are frozen in time. Frozen in time. Also, your brain in third dimensional reality when you're not creating new synaptic pathways, you are not learning anything new, you are not processing new thought and new emotion, elevated states of those, you are in a limited creational state. Because in a survival state, you can only draw energy in, you try to conserve, that's what survival does. So you may have heard the term energy vampire, you may know of one. Okay, they typically try to steal the energy of others or borrow it or they um, uh, energetically tether themselves to others that are leaking energy because the value exchange is disproportionate on both sides. So one is the host and one is the parasite, as it were, heavy words. But our brain rewired can regenerate that, can upgrade that and literally prune away those experiences. So no longer are we limited, we become very expanded. You are also a boss of victim. You're a boss of victim because you may not say it out loud. You may not even complain to other people, 
but secretly inside you're going, what the F is going on with my life? Why can I not get ahead? Why does everyone else seem to get the, the best lovers, the best money, the best career opportunities, the new clients, the premium level, this, that, and the other, the upgrades in life? Why not me? Hey, Laith, great to see you, mate. All right, so you are the boss of victim. We need to, we need to uh, anchor yourself in a higher level, and I'm gonna move on that really, really quickly. The last two things I wanna cover here, as you can see right down the bottom, one is incoherent. You are in an incoherent state and you live in hope. What does incoherent mean? Well, incoherent is because you're trapped in those lower energy systems. You're not moving energy up the body through that kundalini process. And so there is no um, cervical or, or um, a spinal fluid moving up and down, down the body and up through your spine into your brain. There's not this cycle occurring. So you are trapped in that frozen state, but you are incoherent. You are operating in a higher brainwave states the whole time. You tend to be high, mid or low range beta, pure survival. And you are doing, the more I do, the thinking behind that is the more I do, the more I'll have. It's the biggest load of BS that's out there. And I've personally experienced it over my 25 years in this field. And I've done it. The more you do, it doesn't equate to the better you do or the more you receive. So you need to cultivate a new environment. And that new environment does not leverage on hope. Hope is giving away your power somewhere else. It's saying, I'm not absolutely sure of what I want, and I'm not even confident in my own abilities to create and engage and communicate with the quantum field. I have no trust in my own capabilities to rewire my, my, um, my centers. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Because here's the flip, and I've s stacked all of that for you guys for the third dimensional reality because your brain is a five plus D supercomputer. It is asking you to evolve. Your high self is asking you to evolve. And so when we flip it around and you can see quite clearly here, well, sort of quite clearly on the green side, 5D is creation. Instead of being matter, you are energy. You know that your body is a battery. You know that you are more energy than matter because when you die, you go back to energy. Okay, instead of being a particle, which is fixed, you are a wave. And as a wave, you are potential. And as potential, you are in the superposition, which means you are all things and no thing at any given time until you lay your awareness upon an intention to create. Does that make sense? So I hope you guys are enjoying this. Just give me some thumbs up, give me some love if this is hitting the right spot for you. I know I've dived in deep and I know that I'm uh, presenting a lot of material really, really quickly. And uh, quite typically, this would be over eight weeks for the Zero Limits Mastermind. And I'd love to give it a plug. You'll see a link below. I have another upcoming masterclass starting very, very soon or mastermind. And I'd love for those that are interested to shift out of predictable programming, liberate themselves from the past, free themselves from a predictable future and start creating an ultimate reality right now. I'd love for you guys to go to that page. And if you feel encouraged, you feel inspired, then apply and we can have a conversation. It's as simple as that. So to remaster your mind is to move your energy back into a state that is beyond the addictions of the body. So we must move into the wave. We must move in to accepting that what comes to us in an elevated thought and, and set of emotions is from the unknown. It's from the unknown. You really do not know how the magic and the wonder is going to arrive on your doorstep. You really don't know. You can have the best laid plans and you hold like a chief architect, the, uh, a crystalline view of what you want and what you seek to experience and create in this now moment. In reality, you don't know how it's going to arrive. And the longer you hold on to it, the longer you hold on to hope and control for fear that it will never arrive unless you do, the further it will move away from you as I move my hand, move and move away. So, so be in the unknown. Be in the unknown. The unknown is the, is the, um, is the playing field of possibility. And inside of that is creation. So when you move your energy up, you're moving in, to your heart space. And when you're moving into your heart space, you are accepting that you are a creational being and that you're engaging that creational uh, element of you. So 
this hardwired programming to the past starts to soften and those old neural networks start to prune and disappear and dissolve and be replaced by new thoughts, new elevated states of being. And that is where new realities are created as I lose my little slide here. So great to see you. Uh, we've got Mona and Tracy, great to see you both. Okay, so new state of being, you are in motion. So you are dynamic. And when you're dynamic, you are moving. You're moving energy. No longer is it trapped in the body, crying to get out. No longer do you feel you need to hide from the world. And dare I say it, grossly placed that, you know, feed, our, feed ourselves grossly, feed, 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 because I'm just craving nutrients, I'm craving love, because secretly you never had self-love to start with, and you're expecting the universe to provide you with an upgrade. Move, love what you do, love who you are, and love yourself enough to wake up and shift to the next level. There you go, I've said that. So as we go from into 5D, we become unlimited. You don't need to take DMT. You do not need to activate through a synthetic form. As you move into higher states of awareness and as you start to clear these neurological pathways and this spinal, pro, uh, this spinal fluid starts to move around and cycle as this kundalini energy, guess what starts to wake up? Your pineal gland. Your pineal gland starts to awaken. And with that, its piezoelectric qualities start to produce more light. And with more light, comes more vision and expanded sight and reach into the field, okay? So you become the boss of love. You love who you are, you love the person you're becoming and you love the new reality that is co-creating with you. Just as I said in yesterday's mini masterclass that it is the, it is the pebble in the pond. Your intention and your thoughts are the pebble in the pond. The ripples, you don't know how far away the bank is in order to send it back to you. But if you live in hope, which is this third dimensional reality, you're going to get impatient and you're going to get worried and concerned that it's not right for you. Hey, Barry, great to see you. Great to see you. Always, there is no such thing as patience because patience is equated to time. Your mind is, your brain is not a time machine. Okay, it's beyond time, space and the body, the environment. Okay, so you go from an incoherent to a coherent being. You are in touch with your field. And if I ask you right now to do this little exercise, move your awareness to the room that you are sitting in right now and feel the room that you are sitting in right now without turning your head, but read the room that you are sitting in. What you are doing is using more than the five senses. You are going beyond the five senses. The brain has that capability through your imagination, through your dream state, through alpha, theta, and delta brainwave states as well. But as soon as you practice to be conscious of your environment, you are going into psychic senses. And psychic senses are where the real magic occurs. Finally, just to finish off, you are no longer operating in hope, you are in full trust. Because you know what? If you want something to arrive as an ultimate reality, you are in creational mode, who is it that you are trusting for that to come about, for it to be lit, delivered to you by the cosmic stalk? It's not God. It's not the universe. It's you. If you do not have trust in yourself and you do not move your energy as a co-creative being with your environment, without trust, there is no creation. And if there is creation, it's of a denser nature, and that's what you're ultimately going to experience. So I'd love for you to drop your insights in below. Drop the insights in below like I've been dropping uh, hot cakes for the last 15, 20 minutes. I don't know how long I've been going for. But my promise to you guys was each and every day I would come to you live and I would present some of the best material that the members of the Zero Limits Mastermind are receiving twice a week, every week. And so if it does interest you, if you do want to move from an old paradigm, an old wiring, an old neural neural process and an old creational template that just doesn't work for you anymore, then have a look at the link below and also the content on that page. It's rich, filled to the brim with people just like you that have shifted their life. And it doesn't matter what, literally does not matter what you place your intention onto. You can turn mud into miracles. 
Yeah, you can turn worry into wonder. Really, it's that simple. So I'd love for you to guys to comment below and share this, share this around. Lisa, Jane, great to see you. Kay, great to see you. A little uh, smiley face here. Um, get some love. Get some thumbs up. Get it all going. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's juicy. It's real. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. It's a decision. The shift of one hemisphere to another, the shift of one reality to another is a choice. It's always been a choice. Okay. So in tomorrow's episode, I'll be talking about how you can maintain your higher templates of reality, your higher state of being, even when the world seems to be falling out around, uh, falling down around you, or where there is an increase in perceived resistance by others around you. So stay tuned for that one. I'll do that tomorrow. So uh, over to you guys. Uh, absolutely, absolutely love this uh, this space that you're holding as well. So Vicky, each time I hear this, the depth of understanding is more profound and solid. It is becoming the way. Yes, it is becoming the way. Thank you, Vicky. And absolutely it is, Lisa Jane, um, your big, beautiful smile. Uh, yes, I do agree, Janet, uh, that is awesome. So without any further ado, I'll leave you with that to re-watch, revisit, and remaster your life. From me here in Ubud to you, wherever you are in the world, as always, travel light. Bye for now. <laughs>